groceries in store. We have We Are Memory Keepers, and Allie's gonna be joining me, one of my favorite guests. And then Sara Davies from Crafters Companion. It must be, I don't know what time over there, but she's gonna be joining us live from England in this hour, and we have so many cool new items. In fact, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek at two items that are coming up, a little preview. This is from Crafters Companion. It's called the Pop-Up Vase and Floral Dies. So go to the one that has the florals on it. Ignore the other one for the moment. If you see the one to your right, that no, to the right, right there. How cool is that? Uh, this is brand new tonight, so you guys are getting a first look at it. You get eight of the Gem Gemini metal die dimensionals called Pretty Vase and 12 of the delightful bouquet. So you're gonna have a ball with this and Sara always have a gazillion ideas. Also, I have to tell you, coming up, please pay attention. This is the other card that's on that table. We have the best five and five I have ever done in the history of being here on HSN. It's all Crafters Companion. The sale prices are crazy great and we have like one minute an item. I'm not kidding you. You must stick around and at least jot the item numbers down as fast as you can because this stuff's on sale and it's coming up and the one you're seeing right there is called, it's part of her subscription box and it's the pop out scene series. You're going to make 24 cards. There's ribbons. There's a hundred sorted pearls, 10 clear acrylic stamps, five metal dies. You get sheets and sheets of paper and printed paper and that's just one of the cards we made out of it. But guys, that five and five is the best one I've ever done in the history of my life here at HSN. It's so good. And if you love Crafters Companion, you don't want to miss out. Well, we also love We Are Memory Keeper, and they are celebrating their 17th anniversary. And Allie's joining me, one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. Hi, darling. Hi. Oh, my gosh. You? Well, we have We Are Memory Keepers. I'll tell you, they're some of my absolute go-to tools. No kidding. And this one, by far. Yes. You've seen lots of scoring tools out there, guys. This is the best one out there. It is so innovative. It's so cool. I am such a nerd. I own it. I love it. I insist you get it because of there's for me a ton of reasons, but there's one specific reason I yes. know you'll share yes. of why this is the best scoring tool ever. Now, of course, because they're putting it on HSN, they didn't stop there. Look what you're getting. You are getting 12 by 12 multicolor smooth cardstock. This is 48 sheets of 12 by 12 gorgeous paper to go with it. That is a total exclusive bundle you can only get here today. All right, Allie, I'm gonna let you take That's it right. away because you gotta get into this. All right, so this is what's awesome about this is if you have paper that's maybe white core or you have cardstock that's super heavy um, and you're getting the tear lines, okay? So this is just a standard scoring tool. I'm gonna go down here and you're gonna see what's gonna happen when I fold this, Suzanne. Look at that, this is white core cardstock. Can you see that, the white there? That's actual tearing, okay? So that's that tends to happen sometimes when we use just a traditional scoreboard, right? But let's, so we'll let's slide this yes, one slide away. This. We, we don't, don't like that we one. We don't want to use that one. <laughs> so we're going to try this one. And what's unique about this is, let's see if I can show you this ridge right here. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I can get a shot of that. Um, it's a little metal ridge right there. So your paper is going over that, and then this little knife has grooves, and it's gonna go right over your paper, and that is going to make the most beautiful score line you have ever seen. So watch this. I'm gonna use this tool, and we're just gonna go down over that. And look at that gorgeous it's stunning, you score guys. line. It's look the best. That. This is the nerdiest no thing. No tearing. It's the best score line you'll ever make in your life. It's the way they've done that raised edge and the tool itself that creates a really professional looking. Like I'm thinking all oh, score lines are score lines. No, no, no. No. Nope. The, I'm telling you, by Entirely far. Entirely different. If you want to get the best scoring tool out there, this is the one I would 100% recommend. Absolutely, yep. So we're going to make a quick card. And the nice thing about this little knife is you've got two different sizes. So if you want a really defined score line, you would use the larger one. If you want, you know, not so defined, you can use the smaller one. But I like to do the really defined ones because it just I makes that fold look really nice. So I'm going to fold this, uh, uh, score this at a couple different places, and we're going to make a cute little card out of it. And you can go either direction with this and this is 80 pound cardstock Suzanne this is heavy. heavy stuff look at that beautiful score line it's just gorgeous it's nice and crisp no tearing no wonky stuff um, and then we're going to take this one and we're going to do some uh, fun fan folding so we're just going to score every quarter inch or so and 
See now explain the ruler on here too. Okay, so yeah, so you've got 12 inches here, and so you're just moving it over um, as you score, right? So I'm just watching over at that side, and we're just going every quarter inch, right? Um, and that's how you're gonna do that. And then you're also going to fold it, right? And then look at this completed card we have here. Let me open this up for you. Okay, we've got our favorite little rosettes. We love to make our rosettes. And then look how cute that is. Oh, sorry, I pulled it apart. <laughs> <laughs> so cute when you do that, but look how you can see. Yeah. And this is again, super heavy cardstock. It's 80 pounds. This stuff is it's super heavy. Stuff, yeah. And normally when you score that again, that's gonna tear. Now, what I wanted to show you is the, look at this. We can this pan across amazing. this. amazing. These are all the colors you're getting in this beautiful um, pack. And you did all the scoring using the tool, and of course. And the scoring yeah. using the tool. That's Not beautiful. one single tear. It's absolutely beautiful. It's perfectly <laughs> done. So, and this is good cardstock. This is smooth and it's it's nice. This is like your favorite kind. It's like great for cutting. Like premium, premium yes, stuff. Yes, so it's yeah. great. I, I have this out here because I didn't score it, but I used my cutting machine. So it's perfect for cutting with electronic or regular cutting machines. And you'll want the paper yes. because of the thing coming up next. Yes. which we're going to get to as well. Absolutely. I will tell you, again, the scoring tools, I, I've never, ever, and you know, I've been doing this for so many years. I've been in two different networks. I was the first one to do TV retail uh, scrapbooking on television. I have tried every scoring tool that's out there. I really, truly have. Once you go to this one, you'll never go to any of the yep. scoring tool. You'll just be like, oh my gosh. And it's because of how clean and beautiful and professional the score looks. And you yep. think, well, does that really matter? It really, truly does. And even if you're using really delicate vellums to really have heavy cardstock. Yes. This one is, I am not kidding you, the Absolutely. very best. And again, I want to show you how clever it is because this actually just folds out. Mm -hmm. And so let's say you're just trying to score a card and you're like, okay, I got four and a half inches. It's really easy to figure out where you have to make that card score. Yep. Or if you make a ton of envelopes and you have to do a ton of scoring, or if you're making, you know, the cards that have five folds and three folds and 10 folds, right. it's fantastic for that. Yep. And you will be, again, it sounds super nerdy, but you don't know how great this is until, <laughs> until you try, you try it. it. Isn't it true? That's, yes, that's because you're not doing it in a groove. You're doing it over the paper. So you're, yes. you're actually folding the paper rather than trying to make a groove and you're not going to get that tear. You're not going to get the, you know, the weird lines, you know, things that just don't quite work out and you try to fold it and it looks wonky. I've yep. done that so many times. It's beautiful. The other thing I wanted to show too is in addition to this handy arm that folds out is like we are member keepers always does. We've got our score tool, you know, with the two sides, of course, but it goes right in there. So which you've I got everything that. on board, Can't lose it. which is fantastic. Let's just take a look oh, for a wow. second at these. I was showing this a second ago, but look at all that scoring on there and that's quarter inch you know that's not big fat line that's thin lots and lots um the other thing i wanted to show too is how fun it is if you have light core or white core cardstock oh, look at how we made backgrounds on these cards just using score lines <laughs> because you can kind of sand right. over them they're so they're nice and raised they're so dimensional and then you can go over them with a sanding block and make those really beautiful patterns so all we did was just go along you know every quarter inch and then sand over it with this light core cardstock. Same thing with this one. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's got like this sort of plaid pattern in the background um, and those are score lines. Mm, so it's cute. really easy to do. Yeah. Um, another cute project that I love are these little handbags. Wouldn't these be perfect <laughs> for Valentine's Day? And if you look closely, if we can get a real close up shot of that, you can see those score lines. Those are not drawn. Those are not a pattern. Those are score lines. And I want you guys to see, can we, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Perfect. There thank, we you, go. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We put the little is. pearls on it too. Yes, and we <laughs> added pearls. So those are the score lines that were made with this tool, and then you just sand over them because this is white core cardstock. And look at what a gorgeous pattern you get. We've got two of them, even That's on so this cute. light pink. You can see, look at that. That is the book. You, you, you know, see. you almost need to get this to, to, to do that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. And again, you might say, well, I've had a scoring tool for a long time. I'm the same way. I've, uh -huh. I've had a couple I have of different like scoring tools. Yeah, yeah I, because we all, it's a great idea to yeah. have a scoring tool, but none of them compare to what yeah, this is. This is You'll the best You'll be one. so tickled. It really looks like professionally scored cards. It does. Like it yeah. was done by a machine or something because it just gives you that perfect edge every yeah. time. Um, another thing, too, is how many of you make boxes? You're making boxes, you make envelopes, you, you know, obviously 
obviously I'm scoring cards all the time. But if you do a lot of the crafters companions, they always are showing techniques with yes. multiple ways to open it up yes. and fold it out and all Fun that. Folding, and yeah. you do want to always get that perfect line. Even with little doors you're trying to open, if you can score that yep. hinge on the door, it's going to make that action work better. Mm -hmm. So if you think of all the kits that we bought and all the dies we have and all the things that need to be scored, you really want this tool. Absolutely. Like, I promise you, if you don't like it, send it back. That's fine. But I don't <laughs> think you will. It's the only you, scoring tool I use now. It yeah, truly is. It is. It's amazing. It is Absolutely the best. My yeah. favorite. Let's yeah. show it one more time. Do we have enough time? Are we, oh, we wrap it up. Just okay. do one more quick score for Kay. us, if you will, yep. too, and show them that totally. little tool because it's pretty nifty. Okay, let's do this. Same thing. This is white core cardstock, and we're just going to go right over it and look. Hopefully, if you can you, you see can. that? Yeah. It's delicious. Look at that. It's absolutely delicious. And then I'm going <laughs> to fold it. And again, I would tear this. If I was doing this with any other scoreboard, that would tear. Yeah. But look at that. You see, all you see is the color. There's it's such amazing. satisfaction. And you're like, really? A line? It counts. And yep. I, you're, you're, you're going to crack up. You're like, oh, they were right. <laughs> I like, I know that's what you're going to say at home. Yep. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> all right, Allie's hanging out because we've got yes. a couple more items to show you. But I want to mention our secret sale. You guys love a great secret sale. You guys wait for us to do this. We do it almost every crafting day. And this is a great one. What you do is on our front page in the search engine, you type in the words crafty pal. P-A-L-S, and it'll take you to a sale that absolutely no one else will know about unless they hear me talking about it right now. It's the only way to find the sale. And it's all about Crafter's Companion, which Sarah Davies is coming up in this hour with me. So this is an additional 30% off. There's some steals on that. And you know what's really funny? Last time we did this, Allie, um, I had looked at it ahead of time like I did tonight, and by the time I got around to getting back to it after I slept and got back up, a whole bunch of stuff had sold out. Oh. So if you guys <laughs> want to take advantage of it, do it now. Now, and there's a ton of items on there right now. And that's an additional 30% off already great pricing. All right, so this next item I love because if you've ever tried to do anything and you're trying to spell someone's name and you run out of stickers of E's, like let's say, in, or, or I's in Mississippi or whatever, it's always so frustrating. Yes. So I love this next kit because now you guys have done the alphabet in numbers, but you oversized them. Yes, yes. That's so they're cool. two inches tall, which is great. It also means that they can fit in all your favorite die cutting machines, your Diamond Press, your Gemini, your Empress, our Revolution or Mini Evolution because they're two inches. Okay. So they're really the perfect size for cards and scrapbook pages, gift wrap, home decor. I'm going to show you some really creative ways to use these. Um, and I'm super excited because like you said, you can personalize <laughs> anything you make with these. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut with these. I've got them all lined up and look, I'm spelling Italy. I mean, you know, That's I could great. put my name, I could put Suzanne, I could put whatever I want there, right? So I'm spelling Italy, I've got my card stuck in there, we're just gonna run it through the die cutting machine um, and watch what happens. And these um, have little holes, each of them, just in case your paper gets stuck up in there, right? Mm -hmm. um, usually it doesn't for me, but if it does, they're little holes, so you can poke a, a, like a, you know, um, oh, pokey tool. Yeah, pokey tool through. Um, but there you go. You've got all these letters, and they cut out beautifully. Nice and crisp lines. These are really high quality, thin metal dies. Um, and then look what we created with this. We we kind of went crazy, but it created a really fun wow. look. So you would just cut that over and over again. That's all those colors, cool. and and look at how pretty that is. That when you layer them and kind of set them off, isn't that kind of fun? It's gorgeous. But that way you can personalize exactly what you want to say on your projects and. And you know, it's it's your thing. It's your right. It's your creation. Um, let me just say one thing. We've got them right here, but they're backwards because that's how they come. Because the backs of them are flat, so we tape them on the backside, so they'll stay on. Um, but look at this teeny box right here. Teeny tiny little box, and you've got I think 41, 42 dies in that little box. So many dies. Again, numbers. You've got a little bit of punctuation in there um, and all the letters of the alphabet, of course. And like you said, you don't have to worry about running out of stickers in any certain letter. Oops, I don't have any more E's. Let's see if I can make an E out of a T. And you know, what am I doing? Right, <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> I think it's so frustrating. All done that. Yeah. 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 So, but this way you can say whatever you want. So, I'll tell you what's also a cool idea to do. It's the same idea, but I don't see it on here. It's reversing it. For 
folks. Yeah, I yep. was going to show you guys because you had that out there. <laughs> yeah. Great minds think alike. Yeah. If you did this, and maybe you, you want to lose a, was a washi tape and tape it down so it's straight. So it's straight, right. You can use this, and then you put a print or a photo or anything behind here, which gives it a whole yeah. second level of creativity so doing it. You've got two projects there. Yeah, you've you've got, once two projects. Yeah, that's yeah. right, which we love. So keep that and yep. use that as another part of your project. Absolutely. But I, you know, we all love personalization. For example, this little toad is so cute. Yeah. So you've got iron-on. Use these for iron-ons. It's yes. adorable. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, great point. I was going to say, we. so on this layout over here, we used cardstock, but we embossed and then we inked. So you can wow. get really creative. Use your favorite embossing folders. Use your pretty inks or sprays or whatever you like to use and really go crazy with the creativity and, and make them match. You know, this way it matches. You start with white and you make it whatever color you want. See, we did an ombre color um, transition there. And then I showed you this one. There's one underneath or a couple underneath. This one, here's so, what's so fun. This is cut out of fun oh, foam, Suzanne. It's cute. squishy, it's thick, it gives it dimension and it's so fun. That's this cool. layout's about a you know, little, couple little girls and it's, it's perfect for a kid layout. <laughs> Super cute. Um, here's another one. We oh, actually cute. cut out uh, foam again and then added patterned paper on top. So you would cut your foam and then you cut your pattern paper and just stick it on top. That's so it gives so that cute. extra pop on your page. Um, so, and then like you said, we've got the um, iron-on uh, vinyl here um, and that again you could have anybody's name so how easy is that die cut your letters of your name iron it on boom yeah. done yep. i mean so easy do right? a monogram you know, yeah do easy. a monogram yeah. exactly next one over here this is wood that we kind of did a light stain Cute. on and then this is canvas so canvas oh. fabric and we just added it on added a couple little dies you know or, or i'm sorry uh, brads to make it look kind of you know like a guy kind of masculine is what i'm saying um, and then this I one's got that. the foam again and um, the pattern paper on top. But look, this is home decor. You know, this is home decor. We cut out some felt right here. This is super um, And cute. again, create and thrive. You can say whatever you want to say. This could be a birthday banner for your grandchild or your, or your child, you know. It's this adorable. could be a, something for the school classroom, you know. I mean, if you're a teacher, oh my gosh, Suzanne, if you're a teacher, grab this because yeah. you could make anything on your bulletin board. You could make anything in your classroom say whatever you want to say. And I will tell you, a lot of times when you get alphabet dies and number dies, they're really teeny. And mm -hmm. they're kind of a pain in the you-know-what. Yes. I like this oversized because you can do congrats on a card. You, not congratulations. You can do, you know, I heart you you know you'll right. really like that it takes up space yes that's what i like about this two yes. inch size so slimline cards this is perfect oh for great cards. idea perfect yeah. size yeah. um another fun one is this is a metallic a metallic sheet that we die cut and cool. covered up with um pattern paper so this is actually a little <gasps> game that you can play <laughs> with <laughs> magnets, magnets right yeah. super fun gift bag right next to it you know there you go perfectly that's the name of your you know recipient seven years old we use the numbers here as well seven years old and for Casey. So you can totally personalize. This is just some really fun metallic paper. This is a great way to use up your scraps. If you have little scraps, you can use that for die cutting these. Um, couple, oh my gosh, this is my favorite, Suzanne. Okay, that's adorable. Sisters. Oh. Let's see if we can get, look at that. Yeah, you see. It's a flip book. It's a flip book. Oh. Isn't that cute? Oh. I just, oh I would gosh. get these just to make this. So I mean, cute. come on. How precious is that? Isn't that cute? Our crafters are so creative that Look make these. Isn't oh. that cute? Okay. Yeah. Love that. So cute. And oh, it's, again, adorable. it says exactly what you want it to say. Here's, oh, this is cute. Yeah. Here's a few super creative cards that we, we did. Look at that. So you're actually just cut, cut, not fully cutting them out, but cutting, you know, leaving part of it uncut. Yeah. So you're hanging part of it out of the machine or, you know, covering it with a shim or something so it doesn't cut. And then here's the negative. That's the negative. That I you love were talking that. about. Yeah. Like a shaker card mm -hmm. with a negative. It would be really yep, cute. Exactly. Yep. So now we have letters in this pretty pattern to use for something else, and we are using the background. Okay. And then here's a fun idea is we cut out... Um, the G from the cardstock, and then we stuck it back in. <laughs> so oh, cool. it, it's just got kind of a cool, like, subtle look to it. Yeah. So you, can you see that? That's just really pretty. I like that. And this is oh, vellum. Cute. So you oh. can cut vellum. You can cut that thick, is. super thick cardstock or all these other materials, but vellum, because it's kind of pretty, because you can layer it, you know, overlap it. Um, and then here, oh, here's the matching here's card. The I knew it was in there somewhere. <laughs> I just couldn't remember where it was. Now you've got them both together. 
One pass, two cards. One pass, two cards. <laughs> That's where all of us exactly. are really busy. <laughs> exactly. And you know, once you get a set like this, again, you'll reach, you'll be very, very surprised how often you reach for it. Yep. Because it's like, okay, it's the 54th birthday. You know what I mean? Yes. Or it's a, a, an odd number. Or maybe to do an address, somebody moves to a new house and you want to do the numbers of like, you know, 263, mm -hmm. uh, welcome to your new home. Those are really cool ways to use yes. this and you never run out of vowels. <laughs> yes, never run out of vowels. <laughs> Which is so frustrating. And stickers normally don't come in two inches and you do get that bold effect right. it takes up a lot more space so i just love yeah. oversized anything Me too. Where exactly. i love them too so there's you get all of it and you're going to get all the letters you're going to get the numbers and of course you're getting some dots and dashes and things like that to go along with it see them down there all right now i do want to mention coming up oh yeah we're going to talk about in 10 minutes this is um, what we're calling the pop-up face and floral dyes. It's brand new. And look how cute this is. Oh my gosh, is this adorable? Oh my gosh. Is that something? And again, we showed you a dimensional card, but this can do so much more. This is great. It's brand new. It's from Sarah Davies. The price is easy, $24.95. You're going to see that in 10. Also, please stay with it. It is worth stick sticking around because I have the best five and five that I've ever done, ever, in all the five and fives I've done across all the brands coming up tonight. It's a darn good Amazing. five and five. That's awesome. kind of bold for me to say. That is. It's that good. <laughs> I heard that earlier. I was like, wow, I yeah. can't wait to see Whoa, what that is. What is it? It's worth it. Stick around. Stay up, yeah, okay? Yeah. All right. For sure. So this okay. is brand new as well. Yes, Love yes. It. We have, this is brand new on HSN. Never been on. This is their crop and style bag. Nice. Um, it's awesome because it's got wheels, inline wheels. I'm going to pull this down for a second so we can see how this works. So, you know, we're starting to go back to crops, Yay. right? We're, I know, thank goodness. We're starting to craft with each other again. So this is gonna, you know, roll like that for you, right? So you would drag it behind you or whatever. And then the thing is it's got stoppers in front. So when you put it down, it's not going anywhere. Oh, it's nice. not, you know, spinning, rolling away from you, whatever, <laughs> right? So let me pull this back up. Well, I should use the handles, that's probably better. But again, handles. And this is telescoping, so this goes down. And then it's got these unique little straps here that Velcro to hold this up. So you've got it open while you're working, so you're not trying to open and shut and open and shut, right? So that's really handy. It comes with some little simple instructions that show you all the different pieces that you get inside, how they fit together, you know, how you can shift them around and adapt, you know, for your needs. Um, I wrote these down, Suzanne, because I couldn't remember all these numbers. So 75 loop pen caddy which i'm going to show you in a second Ooh, which cool. is stored right in here okay telescoping handle inline wheel stoppers clear display window look how fun that is it says Allie's crafting stash way down here. Oh, cute. Isn't that cute? So you can, it's a five by seven size, so you can make your own little Put thing with your cut, right? Put a photo in there, whatever you want, okay? 18 tool loops that are inside here to hold tools in. Okay. Um, three removable adjustable dividers, 24 pockets. So, and they're all different sizes. Wow. So let's take a little tour. First, I want to start with this. Love that. So 75 pens here. Now this is gonna make a little tower, which is super handy if you like working with markers and pens and you just wanna have them all Love available it. so you can see them. Can we get so a shot smart. of that or is that, yeah? Yeah, okay. that's really smart. Scoot this way, there we go. Look at that, turns around three sides. You've got all your favorite markers in there ready to go and it folds up and stores practically flat in the bag, which is great. Brilliant. So, and this can also be used for, you know, whatever storage you want. Okay, take a look at this. I've got a scrapbook album in here. A big one. Yeah, a big one, right? I've got my page protectors. I've got, I've got two paper pads. I'm gonna start putting stuff back in here because it's about to slide off the table. And then I don't know if we can get an overhead guys, shot. Can, yeah, they've got it, great, thanks guys. Okay, um, of these pockets in here, like I've got pocket after pocket. And they're not even full. No, they're not, these are not even full. I didn't have enough stuff to, to put them in here. Okay, and then I look, I've got a whole trimmer in here. I've got a large punch board in here. More pockets, more pockets. And this is where the straps are, the, the loops for the tools. So oh, my glue it. gun's in there. It's not going anywhere, right? I've got a whole, like, four or five pairs of scissors in here. I've got my tape, you know, in here. Plenty of room for cards, for stickers, for giant this, stamping, which is coming up platform. tomorrow, coming up later. Oh, right? that's coming up later yes, today. That's coming up later. All right. Okay, so that's a 12 by 12 stamping thing. Now let's go to the pockets, okay? Here's what I love about these pockets is these little straps here can either hold it 
open or it can stretch down. So you, you, you have as much, you know, versatility as you need there. So if you'd rather have it kind of partially closed, you can. I've got That's like great. more paper. I've got a cutting mat. I've got stickers in here. And this That's is the beauty great. right here, yeah, okay? You've got different sizes. They Velcro shut. So you've got your washi tape. Let me stretch this down. You've got washi tape. You've got adhesives. You've got brads. You know, we've got eyelets. We've got glue sticks, everything you need. And then same thing on this side, more pockets, more <laughs> loops. Look, I haven't We're seen this. I'm going over I know, with come you. on over here and look. So oh much, but you see how that oh, can... Oh, look at all the clear pockets Right? Look side. at all the clear pockets. Can you guys pockets. see that? Right, here, let's it. turn it. We might have to flip up your front gate. Yeah. A little bit. Okay, there okay. we go. Let me zip Look at it, guys, so okay. This is all just the side, and yeah. then look at this part down here, the flap. You actually have more yep. uh, loops. More so you loops. Can, if you, let's say if you do paintbrushes, or you do needlework, like yeah. if you do um, uh, knitting and right. crocheting and all needles, that would all fit. Crochet okay. hooks, yep. But we're not done, hang nope, on. Nope, nope, nope. Watch okay, this. Let's turn it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's amazing. It is amazing, right? It just keeps going on and on. Now these fit eight and a half oh, by great. 11. So you can have paper in here. You could have magazines in here with your favorite, um, you know, inspiration for yeah. crafting. You could have um, patterns, you know, if you're sewing, sewing. whatever you want sure. in here. Um, so, so much more storage right there as well. Now, one thing I want to show you with this one, if we okay. can open this one up sure. for just a second. And I, Chastity's going to kill me. I forgot to grab the revolution that I had um, to show you how much stuff you could put in here. But... Guys, I have a cinch machine in here. Oh, that's the okay. full size. That's not even the baby this is, one. This, this is the big one. I have wire. Oh my gosh. I have a 12 inch cutting mat. I'm gonna put that and down it's in. And it's not even full. And I could still fit that die cutting machine that I was working with earlier. I could still fit that in here. That's I'm gonna great. put my trimmer in there. I mean, it just keeps going on and on and on. Look what I've got up here. Punch boards. Stuff's falling out because I've got so much stuff And big, in here. chunky stuff, Big, too. chunky stuff, yeah. right? All these punch boards in here, instructions. I mean, it just keeps going on and on. So this is 20 by 20 by 16. So plenty wow. of room for all your favorite large crafting tools right. that you want to bring along to any crop, you know, to any gathering, you know, girls' night, whatever, or keep it at home. This is great well, that's, home storage. It was funny because one of my notes that, that I wrote down was great for crafting on the go and just from your closet to your kitchen table. Yeah. Like I think for most of us, and I do not have a dedicated crafting room. Um, I live in a real small space and so my crafting table is my kitchen table. And I think that's a lot of us where you've got it, you know, you don't want that hot mess all over your table. Maybe you've started a craft collection or, you know, you're, you've just got a little bit of stuff or a lot of stuff. You could pack this out, put it in the closet, and then when you're ready to craft, you roll it out and it's really accessible and easy to get to. Um, that's what I love about this and I think it makes it so organized. So you can, you don't buy stuff. And like the other day, I'll be darned, I bought a second sweater and just realized I already own the sweater because I couldn't <laughs> see it. And I was so mad uh, at myself. Yes, I'm yes, like, yes. really? I got to return it. It's from HSN. I bought both oh, sweaters from bummer. HSN. But I was like, oh, I already own that. We do that with crafting stuff all the time because yes, we can't we find it. And the other thing I think too, Allie, and I'm sure you can relate to this, is if we have our stuff all shoved in cabinets or drawers or boxes or whatever, we don't craft. We, yep. Crafting doesn't become fun because yeah. we're trying to figure out where the heck is yada yada I know I have it yes. this you can see where it's at you know where it's at you've got it really organized so even if you never take it outside your front door it's so worth investing in and then if you are for me over the holidays I went to my friend's house and we did a big crafting party for yep. Christmas cards using my Anna Griffin card kit this would have been perfect to take all my glues and my stickies and all the stuff I had to take plus the kits themselves if you're taking it away so I love that this is really a big unit yeah absolutely um, one thing I do want to show you too, if we can grab the overhead shot for this again, is you can actually take these dividers out. Um, so if you need to adjust and, and make it bigger, you know, like we had in there, there were no dividers in there. So you can fit those large right. tools. So this can come out. You've still got your pockets. You can lay this on your table, you know, on your surface, and then, you know, just have all this room in here. So these are completely adjustable. Oh, there are spacers in between them as well that help you to, you know, to keep that space if you want to keep them secure. But all of these inner parts come out in case you want to, you know, all three. There's Velcro on the sides and Velcro here. So you you can
can make them wider, you can make them thinner, you know, you have You're a really lot of, custom designing. You, exactly. Yeah. So you're custom designing your own storage for right. your craft supplies. Right. And again, keep it at home, slide it under your, you know, kitchen table or whatever, um, transfer stuff from room to room. Um, like you said, take it on a crop, take it to a, you know, a conference well, or a show. Well, you know, I was thinking too, I have a Janome uh, sewing machine. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I bet you, oh, my what gosh. was the width on this? Um, 20 by 20 by 16 deep. So 20 by so 20. 20 by 20. So yeah. if you, you think about your sewing machine, if you need a place to store all that in your mm -hmm. patterns and threads and all that kind of stuff, it's perfect. Yep. If you got anybody who's a school teacher who drags stuff back and forth to school all the time, oh my goodness. fantastic for that. Yeah. I mean, there's just so many different ways to use this beyond crafters, you know, mm -hmm. so that you can use it for hobbyists and other uh, creative uh, pursuits or even for a job. It would be yep. really, really handy. Easy to roll, really, really well organized though. And that's what I think we all want. We love buying all this stuff and then it's a hot mess and we don't have it organized. So thanks to We Are Member <laughs> Keepers. They're keeping all of our stuff together and straight. Allie, yeah. thank you. We'll see you thank the you rest so of today. I know you'll be yes. back, right? I'll be back. Happy anytime. anniversary. We love We Are thank Member you. Keepers too. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. All right, much. we still have more to come. In fact, Sarah Davies <laughs> oh, is great. joining us live from England. And again, we'll have brand new item that floral boss is so cute and the best five and five ever, I guarantee it. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> so stick around, you'll find out. All right, all guys, right. I'm going to walk over here and show you my cute little jeans. I went old school. You guys probably don't remember these, but these are Diane Gilman jeans. I've had them for years and I love them. Why am I showing off my DG? I, I just happen to wear them in, but what's kind of fun is we're having a big denim event going on, hsn.com. All you have to do is check this out and it's denim for everybody. All you do is search denim and you're going to see special savings on many different items that we have in our denim collections across a ton of different brands as well. So definitely check that out. All right, coming up next, yes, live from England from Sarah Davies Crafters Companion Studio. She's going to be joining me with brand new and the best five and five I've ever shown you. <laughs> Discovery days are back at HSN. Grab great deals on items from top brands you love, like cooking essentials from Ninja, KitchenAid, Benefit, and Birkenstock. Plus, special pricing on your favorites from Andrew Lessman and America's favorite inventor, Joy Mangano. Discovery Days are back at HSN. Discovery Days, January 27th through the 30th. At HSN, we love our crafters. So we're bringing you top-rated picks crafters love. It was so easy to use. Plus, experts will share their top tips. Join us on our next craft event on HSN. mascaras do the same job? Nope. They lengthen, volumize, and dramatize. At HSM, we demo fabulous beauty brands on real people so you can see the real difference. HSN.com. HSN. I'm Suzanne Runyon. Hey, check out my Facebook page. It's Suzanne Runyon on HSN on Facebook. And you'll find out all the crazy stuff I have going on, including a special Tuesday night show that we do that is a Facebook only show. We've also started and it's called HSN Gets Crafty with Suzanne. That's our exclusive Facebook page now where everybody, and I love it, my crafting cuties are all posting their projects and we're chatting with each other and giving inspiration and ideas. So definitely uh, go to that page and ask to be joined joined into it, and please enjoy this crafting fun. You're watching our first 24-hour big crafting event of the entire year, and now we're going to jolly old England and Sarah Davies because she has so many cool items on the air today, including this first one, which is fabulous. It is the pop-up floral vase and floral dies. Uh, what you're getting with eight of the pretty vase Gemini metal dies, you're getting 12 of what's called the delightful bouquet dies in this great kit to make not only this card but look at this how cute is you can give somebody a true pop-up bouquet i love this sarah davies hi darling welcome 
Oh, good morning, lovely. I say good morning because it's half past six in the morning over here. <laughs> good morning. So, uh, uh, yes, don't worry. I've been up for a few hours and I've got plenty of makeup on so you can't see the eye bags. <laughs> um, the good news is... <laughs> so, pop-up vases. Can I just say, Suzanne, my favourite thing still now is to send someone a bouquet of flowers. I think there is nothing as beautiful as a bouquet of flowers. But they last, what, about a week? If mm -hmm. you're lucky, they're mm -hmm. at the best for a week. This is going to last forever, right? It is the first time we've managed to do the engineering so that you can send someone a whole bouquet of flowers, but it will actually fold flat to go in the post. That's what I love about this. Whether you send the bouquet on the front of a card, as we've done here, or you just want to make a little vase of flowers, <laughs> whatever you do, that will fold completely flat to go in the post. Now, I've done loads of these, Suzanne, and I, I oh. personally think they look fabulous when you put them on a card. Now, this is an easel card. You've seen me do easel cards loads of times, but the fact that you've got that stand and that gorgeous array of flowers, so but then cool. as soon as you're ready to send it, folds down flat, that goes flat <gasps> yes you probably want a dimensional envelope right but i mean come on that's got, that is going to go in the post or in a nice flat box whereas but as soon as it stands up it stands up and it looks fabulous that is right so cute now, now the clever thing suzanne so there's two sets of dies that you get and actually can i just say you couldn't get a, a bouquet of flowers for 24.95 could you not you definitely couldn't over here so i'm going to guess it's the same for you over there now what i'm going to show you this is the first set bear in mind you're getting two sets of uh, dies. I'm going to show you them both, Suzanne. This one here is your worker die. So this is the die. I'm going to show you how we make the vase. So it comes as an outer die. You've got two extra insert dies if you want to add in little patterns like this into the inside. That is going to make you this. Two of these together makes you the actual vase. So that is your vase die. Then, or do you say vase over there? I never know whether that's our posh English, Suzanne, or if it's the proper way to say it. Um, then, th this is your bouquet. So, so these cute. are all the flowers. So what I've done is I've done you the stem for all the flowers. And then this is what they look like cut out black. But I like to do them just in coloured cardstock. Mm -hmm. And then you do them in different coloured cardstock and it all comes together. Now, I know you're thinking, I bet this is really complicated. I'm ready to knock your socks off and show you just how it is in Suzanne, right? <laughs> yep. Because it really is that simple. So... Some nice, I like bright colours as well. So I've got a nice bright blue cardstock here. Now, if you were to use just this die, it would cut you out the base. If you want to add the extra okay. fancy dies, and all you do at the same time, you see, Suzanne, is just add that into there as well. Hold it in place with a little bit of tape and then you can go and send it through your die cutting machine. Now, the beauty with these is they're all small dies. So those of you that just have like a, a little diamond press machine, for example, I'm going to use our Gemini MIDI, but they'll go through even your smaller format or your manual die cutting machine. That's awesome. Because all of the individual dies are nice and small. Brilliant for beginners as well. So if I lift this off, you can see there, that is giving me that pattern, okay. and it's giving me that lovely rose pattern inside. And if you want to cut two, if you want to cut them out on the other side, you would just cut the other rose pattern out here. Now, I've got two that I've done, all right? Let's keep life simple here. So, <laughs> there's the first one that I've done with two Cute. rows, and I've just took a little bit of white card behind, so and he's the second piece, right? Mm -hmm. So, to attach them together, all we're going to do is we're just going to give them a nice little crease... And we're going to go, we're going to put tape on. Now, a great tip I've got, Suzanne, is if you want them to stick really strong, I always stick tape to tape. So I'll put a little bit of tape down the inside piece as well. Mm. So that when I'm attaching these together, that attaches onto there. So because we're sticking tape to tape, it's even stronger, mm, right? Tip. And then I'm coming right around the other side, and there's my tape to tape on there. Now, there's the outside vase shape. But now, actually, what we need is we want the um, the little piece in the middle. And that comes from the extra die set. So if I show you the set of dies again, this is the worker die that we've just used. Okay. You've got this die here. And if you cut three of these out, can you see it's got a fold in the middle and then it's got two little folds at the edges. And what you do is you're going to cut three of those out and stick them back to back like this. I'll put it on the white so you can see it. So when you stick the three back to back, yeah. that makes you this part on the inside. Again, I've got a lovely little tip for you. If you use um, like a tacky glue, so instead of using your tape and then you have to get it in the exact right place the first time, use your tacky glue. You've got that couple of minutes to get it right and then you're going to get a really nice stick at the end. Idea. So that goes in there and then in the middle... And what you'll find is, you see, I can manoeuvre this into place. It goes exactly over 
three of your score Four. lines in the corner, all right? And that is what gives you that lovely shaping. And when that dries, that's what's going to fold flat and then open back up, right? Yeah. So there's our vase. Next bit is we're going to do the bouquet to go inside. Now, bear in mind, Suzanne, the, the kind of the value on this, to get all of these floral dyes and use all the florals you already have, but this many floral dyes, I mean, is worth that, I would say, is worth that $24.95. Oh, and totally. Look after Completely nice. agree. Because you know what I was thinking? You could use those on a million cards oh. and a million scrapbooks. Yes. It, and do you know, scrapbook, that's a brilliant idea. I've got some other cards I can show you at the end of it. So here I've just done a load of different flowers. So and then you've also got some lovely foliage on there. A little bit like when you do a bookcase. And I don't know about you, but I always put the fancy big flourishy bits at the back. Right, right. And then I put my flowers at the front. Yes, yeah? so it's going to be exactly the same. So cute. And then all you're doing is you're taking your vase and we're going to take each one of these and we're just literally going to lie them one at a time. We're going to put a couple in the back there. We're going to start and take them. And we're going to add them so onto clever. the front panel bits like this. So you can see how we're just adding more and more into the vase. And actually, I like to sit and look at it. So if you look at it from the front, I'm just going to see, right, now it's a little bit different because I've got to stick the glue on all of these. But I would, I would use that repositionable glue again so you've got a little bit of time. But you're just going to pop each piece of your bit in the vase really and cute. then keep adding those in until it makes a full piece. Right. Now, I see I've only got a minute and a half, so I want to quickly show you what they look like. Now, you You've seen how easy it is. Let me bring in that card I that I love started that. off right at the beginning. Isn't that fun? Now, all it is, Suzanne, it's a, a card folded in half. You can see in there, I think it might be easier to see there, where that, um, the, you know, it's so full. I yeah. filled this one right up. You've got all those pieces in the middle, but it's the fact that the card stands open <laughs> and the bouquet is on the front there. Now, whether it's a bouquet, you could do it as a little plant pot. Uh, do you want to see how fancy we can get, Suzanne? Of course. Now, by the way, I know you're all going to ask, how do we do these? These are tutorials on YouTube that we've got ready for you. Oh, so stop it. It's a double exploding box with a vase oh, 360. on the inside. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah. Love that. And then actually, because we do, we've got this available as a live craft along, so that if you want to tune <laughs> in and craft along live, it's made in real time. So all you're going to do is you're going to go to YouTube and search um, live craft along um, pop-up bars and floral dyes, okay. and you will see all the tutorials, and they're literally, you can craft along live at the same time. Whatever you want to do, whether you want to do cards with the bouquet on the front, whether you want to do boxes with the bouquet inside, whether you want to do large oversized cards, we've got things like, um, I mean, this one here, instead of putting it inside the vase, what? we put them inside double boxes <laughs> and they're all just ideas that we've got I, I, I did a sneaky peek preview of this on facebook on the hsn facebook page last month and hundreds and hundreds of you picked this up already and the feedback we've had on that has been outstanding but even if the vase is, you, is a work towards even just your cards look suzanne they look fabulous just with that bouquet of flowers and remember you get both die sets so you've got the bouquet that is the floral set that has the bouquet in but then actually the clever bit is if you go for that vase set, which yes. has got the worker die, I always call them. You're going to cut that twice. You watch me put it together. It really is beautifully simple when and, you know and how to do it. Sorry, let me clarify. You're getting all of that. So you're getting both yep. die sets. And I'm telling you, just the floral by itself, that easy is 24 bucks. And then you also get the vase. And remember, this is unlimited. Make it different colors, do different things with it. I mean, once you have that vase, imagine all the things you could add to that. Uh, if you have like roses or things like that. I mean, you can inner you can kind of switch in the flowers if you have other dyes just make sure they fit within that same uh like shape of the vase that you saw the original flowers anyway you're gonna go kind of crazy how many have we sold at this point because i know we're really busy yeah, you guys, over 300 have now been ordered. This will not make it all day long. It is absolutely one of the most clever, clever ways to give a beautiful floral arrangement to someone you love. All right, we've got to move on. Are we doing it right now? Are we moving? Okay, Sara, I don't know if you heard me say this, but I have come to the conclusion that this is the best five and five I've ever done. <laughs> Here we go, guys. And we're going to do five in about ten. We're going to do a little longer because I love this so much because the prices are amazing. First item up, it's a set of six edibles. We love Sara's edibles. You get all six. Last chance, lowest price, it was $50.99. We're at $24.95 right now with five flex on everything and crafting today. Sara, tell us about the edibles, my love. 
Yes, so what's special about these, Suzanne, is they cut out of the card and stay connected in. So it starts cutting here, cuts all the way around the top and stops here so that you can do really clever things like what we're seeing here. So this is a, an edgeable cut into the front of a Z-fold card. Oh, almost lost you there. And you can see it gives you that lovely pattern. Now, there's six of them in the set, Suzanne. There's six most essential words you could need. So we'll get just for you. Then we also get for my special friend, and oh, you can see cute. that looks brilliant down the side of a card. Mm -hmm. These are the sentiments you'll use all the time, Suzanne. Now, thank you so much. I just think, you know, whatever it is, that thank you so much. And it's a beautiful handwritten font, the thank you, and then the so much is lovely and blocky. Uh, we've got with all my love, and then again, this one's been done slightly differently up the side of the card. And again, Suzanne, we've got so many tutorials. You're just picking up an amazing deal today, like half price deal. But you're, you don't worry about not knowing how to use these. Oh, then we've got this one. I've gone upside down with this one. How clever is that on your special day? And then also, if you want to do this, look, this is quite clever, this card. So this is wishing you a happy birthday. But can you see it stands up like that? Okay. So you've got that double fold card where you've got that wishing you a happy birthday standing up. Or use multiple ones together. So you've got the, all the different ones together. If you want to layer them up, you can use multiple ones on the same card. And so I will tell just you to guys... confirm, you've got um, wishing you a happy birthday. Thank you so much with all my love, <laughs> just for you, for my special friend, and on your special day. All right, we've got to move on to the next one. And again, this is your last chance, and these prices are so amazing. It even shocked me. All right, this set up here, we are talking about, listen, four-piece of the Gemini Stamp and Die Set. Have a beautiful day. Four-piece Gemini Stamp and Die Set. Bloom where you're planted and four piece of you make me smile again you're getting all of this all of this you see here in one kit we're down to $21.95 from $37.99 lowest price we've ever done what do we do with these Sara? Well, what's brilliant, Suzanne, is they are beautiful. They're, they're hand-illustrated floral stamps. So if you like to colour, and I love to colour, you can see you can stamp these out. Whether Pretty. you're colouring them with your pens, with your pencils, they look gorgeous. But what I like is you then get the die set, which allows you to trace the outline shape and then gives you an aperture. So you can build these onto the edge of a card. Mm. You can build them into the front of a box like that. But in the set, you can see you get the stamp set to be able to stamp the design. And then you've got the aperture that goes with it. Now, there's three of them in the set. So that $21.95, bear in mind, these are usually $20 a set if you were to buy them directly on our website. But you are getting three sets for that $21.95. Now, if you love shaker cards, they are brilliant because it'll give you the aperture for the shaker. Or if you want to just do lovely frames, this one, one's designed as like a, an oblong frame, one's designed as an oval frame, and then one's got that designer aperture in the middle there. But I think the main thing is, Suzanne, I know you love to colour. A lot of people out there yes. really do. They just want something to colour. And remember, each of these has been hand illustrated by members of our team who are the ones who are developing our colouring products as well and colouring all day. So you just know they're going to work those lovely big open spaces. And each set, if I open one up, you can see it, you get the stamp set first of all and they're brilliant quality nice size stamp and then you've got that matching die i think this one might be a little bit stuck your matching die to cut the aperture in the center of the stamp isn't that cool you guys and again you get all of these you get three separate designs all all three dies are here and you can see you even have sayings with each of the main big stamps and they're large too these aren't these little teeny stamp you can't see so again super good value all right down below here this is going to be our third one it is called the crafter's companion cute care your box stamp and die set. You're getting 17 pieces of the birthday bears, 27 pieces of the stamp and die. It's called box filled with glitter, 28 pieces of the stamp and die wonderful woodland box. So this is really a big set. So Sarah, dive into this one, if you will. Okay, so the concept on this one, Suzanne, and again, loads of tutorials for you to go back and watch how to do it, but it's for you to do a three dimensional box. So when we open this up, the idea is that you can put all those different designs into a dimensional box. Now, whether it's a box card like this one here, or whether you want to put them actually inside of a box, how cute is that? They're inside that box. I just think they look absolutely wonderful. Now, <clears throat> again, you get three sets. Look at that. Look at the movement in it and how different it is as it goes fly. So three different sets, okay? So you've got the birthday set, first of all, which is this one here. And within each one, you're going to get the aperture, 
and then you're going to get all of these little stamped elements and then the dies to die cut around them doesn't have to be for making these boxes suzanne they are just brilliant little stamps to color anyway so you've got the set with the little bears and the birthday then we've got the one that's called wonderful woodland which is the one that's got that cutie little so deer in cute. and the trees you'll be able to think of loads of cards where you're going to use these this is not a choice of for that price it is all three of them this is my favorite out of all of them so this is the one that's got the little girl in and the little unicorn there and the nice little miniature ones so yes so we can cute. do these gorgeous little three-dimensional box cards but just think of all your other little projects you can do with those little cutesy animals in see i'm telling you isn't this just awesome awesome deals like i did i was like 17.95 for all of that you're gonna get all three sets all the stamps all the dies it's perfect okay the next one up this one is called our subscription box which is really cool to get this and it's the pop out scenes i mean oh my gosh we previewed this one there's so many things inside here so sarah i'm gonna let you go ahead and take it over uh, I'm just going to tell you, Suzanne, for $14.95, this is a total no brainer You, you, you kind of just need to get multiples of these as well. I, that, I agree with you completely. Components. I completely agree yep. with you on that. You get in each one of our boxes, okay, you get, so in this one, can you see, you've got two collections of dies and stamps. So the dies and stamps are going to give you everything you need to do this concept, which is this scene inside of a card. Doesn't have to be inside of a card. It would look really, really well on the front of a card as well. Maybe you want to do a little woodland scene on things like a diorama card like this. And again, we've got the tutorials to support. But then on top of that, Suzanne, so there's probably what? 20, 25 quid with the dies and stamps there. Then we've got all of these cards and envelopes. You couldn't buy a big collection of cards and envelopes for $14.95, right? You've got gems and ribbons that all coordinate. And then you've got this huge collection of beautiful background papers. So eight by eight papers, and then all of the corresponding cardstock that goes with it. Now, yes, it's brilliant if you're doing these concept cards, but the stamps and dies, like I said, the stamps and dies are just wonderful. But yeah. just to stock up, even if you already own this box, just to stock up on the papers, to stock up on the embellishments, to stock up on the cards and envelopes. You're probably talking about 25 to $30 worth of cards, envelopes, and embellishments. And then that's the fact, that's on top of the fact that you get the stamps and dies as an absolute bonus to go with it. Yeah, this is the steal of the deal right here. I mean, if you're looking and you're saying, I don't know, and this is great if you're just a beginner, it's also great if you want to give it to somebody, and I would absolutely recommend getting multiples because you can just use all this stuff. It's really awesome. And then really last but not least, we've got a two-pack of our um, reusable folding tote. You get both of these. They're also on sale for $11.95, lowest price we've ever done. These are super cute. Yeah, I bet. now these are brilliant. I, I'm just going to say, fantastic size, but they also fold down into this. Now, we do the twin packs, and we've got the different colors in there. They're the different color options. But can you see, you're going to open it up, and you're going to make up your full-on crafter's companion i'm ready to go massive size tote that's the big you know loads of companies do these suzanne where you get the big tote falls down into the little space yeah. but not crafter's companion style so that you so you get the like the leopard print one in there we've got the gorgeous floral design you've got the big crafter's companion one so i can't remember which color comes I, i'll with help what, you out but you get the floral and purple you. and you get the purple cheetah and black so see the black the purple wow. cheetah and then down below is the floral and purple that you saw Sarah working with. All right, so stay right there for those two. Those are just really darn handy for everything. All right, now that is it for our five and five. I hope you loved it. I told you it was gonna be really good. Uh, but now this is our final item we'll have with Sarah for the moment, although she's gonna be joining us all day long. This is from Crafters Companion. It's called the Ed Edgeable Sentiment Dies. It's the lowest price we've ever offered on these and you're getting all three just for you. Happy birthday and thank you are the three that you're getting. Sarah, everybody loves when you do the edgeables they're just really creative and fun do you know i mean edgeables are probably our most famous dyes that we do suzanne but mm. when we do them with the words it's a really innovative way to bring your sentiment inside your card so this is the actual die here and when you look at it up close you can kind of almost see a line that runs through the middle that's going to be a kind of top cutting line on there as well so the just cuts out and the for you is going to cut in there as well. So if I show you that on a card, it'll make a little bit of sense. You can see this is a, this is a Z fold card where I've got the design. I'm gonna show you how to do this in a second, but the just is jutting above the front yeah. and the for you is the cut in. That's what's so clever about it, okay? It's the same, now you get three of them. You get just for you, 
You also get thank you. And they're in this gorgeous kind of handwritten font on there. And then we've also got happy birthday. Now watch what you can do. You can actually thank be you. putting them over the fold line. So they're going to cut over the fold line of your design and give you that right at the top. So all three designs, um, 1995, but essentially for a one big sentiment like this, you're probably talking $15 just for one of those big sentiments usually. And I think whether you're using them on the, the front panels of your card, maybe if you're doing like lovely big background pieces like we've done on this one here, or even on scrapbook yeah. pages, they would work really, really well on scrapbook pages. So let me show you how we're going to do a nice kind of quick easy card okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a z fold like this so this is a z fold now how you do a z fold card suzanne is you have a so i've got like a regular six by six card here which is folded in half and then folded in half again so it's folded back on itself and i've just done a little bit of the decoration on this i've matted in matted and laid so folded in half you could use that lovely scoring board from annie that you had and mm -hmm. then folded in half again right and that gives you that shape then you want to do exactly the same with a second piece. So fold it in half, fold it in half again, exactly the same size. And then what we do is we flip it round so that that connects onto the card like this. And that gives you that Z fold. Now this front panel is what I'm going to decorate and do my cutting design. So I can take that just for you pop it onto the front of the card and I can see where that line's running along the middle. That is where we're going to essentially cut off the rest of the card. So you just position it in place. A little bit of a top tip, Susan. Always put your tape at the top bit that's going to cut away, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put this on. I'm just going to put this on my uh, base plate here. I've got the rest of my Gemini sandwich. But again, it doesn't have to be a Gemini. It can be any machine that you want to work with. Um, they're nice. They're not overly intricate dies, so they're quite simple oh uh, are you gonna go in there uh, I don't think I've got my Gemini switched on uh, no I'm not I'll use my MIDI I'll use my MIDI get that plugged in for the next show right so here we go into the middle here and it's gonna so it just shows you Suzanne you can use any machine you want well, right? that's true. Great. So that we're proves go. it right there <laughs> It really does. And I've always got one to hand. I can assure you of that, right? So when I lift this out on the top, you see, can you see See where you've got that cut line? Right. I'm going to bring my scissors in, and I'm just going to cut onto that front bit. You can see all That's of this great. is going to lift away. And then I'm just going to do exactly the same. I'm going to cut straight along until we get to the start of that cutting line, just there like that, right? Now, all of these, if you want to use the 4U separately, they'll lift out and you can use those. You've got that lovely 4U you can use in a separate card, but it also works. Cute. It's got those designer bits kind of left in. So that there, by the time I do a little bit of matting and layering onto the other pieces, a really simple card to stick together because all you do is you fold that over, we fold this piece here, and then I put tape on this piece and then on this piece and the two of them connect together. This is one of my favorite styles of cards to make this with the edgeables because I just think it looks so okay. clever with that piece there. Yeah. And if you want that to if you want that to kind of stand out a bit more, you can always put, let's have a little look. I had a little bit of red. I was going to pop underneath here, Suzanne, so that the for you, she says, I've just used the super strongest tape in the world ever. <laughs> Our tape pens are brilliant, but there you go. That so that can great. go underneath there like that. And then uh, I'm going to stick that back on the front of the card. And we, it's kind of good to go. Perfect. You know what? I really love the Little font style. I love the fonts you used on these. Nice, isn't it? It really is. And I think if I just show you, now you can see how it works. So I can show you just some of the cards. So we talked about the fact that you can use it over the fold of a card. Oh, so yeah. can you see what I've done there? Over that fold, yeah. cut the die in. And instead of cutting the top away, it just stays connected. That's and then you've got that thank you that just stands up uh, just in front of you like that. I think it looks really, really clever. Um, maybe you want to do it and cut a little aperture around the front. Mm, yeah. So again, the thank you has been cut into the front of the card. And then you can see probably a little bit easier from the back where you cut the excess piece out but it just stays connected in there you can use them up the side of cards here we've done loads and loads of different ideas now i think i've just seen i've got two and a half minutes suzanne i think i've probably got time to squeeze in an extra demo if, if that's okay i'm going to take that as a yes yes brilliant right <laughs> so Brilliant. I was just checking out. It was all right to do that. So can you see I've gone for a nice big oversized card on this one, Suzanne? And I'll take that die again. I've got that lovely just for you. And if you pop it on the angle like this, so I can see the angle mm. of my card coming across, okay. and you cut that in, 
and send that through your die cutting machine. Now I've already done one where I've sent it through and die cut it. So can you see as it comes out, the just lives above the line and the for you stays connected. Just like you saw me do when we did it on the edge here. Okay. It's exactly the same, but doing it on the diagonal. And then all I've done with that one is colored in the black. So we've okay. colored in the bit that stands up and I've got the for you and I'm literally going to take a little bit of colored cardstock Pop that on the inside, it's going to make that really stand out. That's so Use cute. a couple of little cards and a few embellishments, and you can see there. Oh, adorable. But just having it cut into the front of the card design <laughs> makes it look really different. And I just think, if you're a beginner and you're looking for somewhere to get started, every single card that you make has, have to, has, a, has a purpose. You right. made it for a reason. You're sending it, you know, and I think what we've tried to do is we've tried to encapsulate with the thank you the just for you and the happy birthday, I've kind of captured the, the three main reasons and ways that you would send a, a card there. So all I've done is I've kind of got you everything prepped, whether it's a card or whether it's a scrapbook page, we've got the sentiment so built cute. in in a really unusual way. And what's awesome is you get all three. You're not, like a lot of times, Sarah will be on, you have to choose between them. No, you get the whole thing and it's all on sale, which is great. All right, Sarah Davies, we'll see you throughout the day. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I'll see you in the morning, 9 o'clock, bright and early. Okay. Oh, girl. All right. Well, thank you, Sarah. Hey, by the way, I do want to show you my brand new Facebook page. This is really fun. It's HSN Gets Crafty with Suzanne. You can click on it and ask to join. And what I love about it is you're going to see what I've got coming up. Create a lot of creative things I'm doing that I don't post on my regular Facebook page. But what I love the most is that you're posting on the page. And what that relates to is my Tuesday night show. So I'll be back from 7 to 9 on the air. And then at 9.30, we do my Facebook show. Show, which relates back to that and I'll